morning. Uh, my name's Warren. I'm from Tudor Purse Fishing. As you've seen, Ryan and Nathan have been out on the banks enjoying it. I've been left with the uh, one of the main reasons that we started the channel. Uh, we purchased a boat to get out into the sea uh, to hopefully get obviously bigger species and do a bit of shark fishing uh, in the summer. Um, the first year that we had it, uh, we had a few little problems, uh, but we're ironing them out. Um, we've got out quite a bit. Uh, but we did develop a little problem with the engine uh, and a boat floor, which we'll go through in detail with you. Uh, but like I say, the main reason for the channel uh, was we bought this. She's a Riders, she's 17 foot, powered by a Yamaha 50 uh, engine. But with that, when we first got it, she was hand painted. So she did look a little bit ropey, um, but I don't know if you can see on the camera now, we've, uh, we had a rule rubbed down because we had a little incident uh, where we was quite new to it, we tried uh, bringing her in on a very low tide uh, and we scratched the bottom up a little bit so we just thought Do you know what a perfect time uh, to go and get her finished and painted yeah she's absolutely mint i don't know if you can actually see it underneath yep but literally all of that's been all sanded back redone two pack was it two pack yes two pack yeah two pack white uh glacier white um so yeah we spent a good couple of weekends sanding her all down and getting her looking fresh and now she looks absolutely amazing there's little bits we're going to do like the bump stop or bump yeah. rubber here uh, but that all comes later on we just want to get out there and enjoy the weather um, but yeah as you walk around Ryan follows me with she does need a clean the Sahara dust on her and Dorset dust is here but other than that she's she's in good condition um, like I say last year we the engine was running absolutely spot on um, with that, it started to create like a little judder when we, we was going at, at full top speed. Um, she does about 26 knots, which is which was bogging, good. Wasn't it? It kept yeah, she kept bogging down. Bogging down. Um, Being hard to start. Yeah, and we have um, to come off the throttle, go back on. Yeah. Um, and what we found out was, long story short, we took the carbs off, we was cleaning, we was doing everything. Pressure testing at the start was absolutely fine. Um, but then she got worse and worse, but she'd still pull. She only dropped to about 24 knots. Yeah, she still went. But... She went lovely. Um, but then on inspection, cylinder three had absolutely uh, destroyed itself. Um, <laughs> I'll try and get a picture. I think we've still got a picture of it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, I've got three, it. So yeah, I'll put it's... a picture in somewhere in the description here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, of, of, of the bores because it was it was weird. It was like a weird scoring, wasn't it? Yeah, it, was like it's, it, it took a chunk out, thing. but yeah, it, was it was like if, if the end of a spark plug come off, yeah, went in there and mullered it, but there was no 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 loose metals. But that's but, off being rehomed at the moment in it yep yeah, being redone yeah. uh oversized pistons obviously going in uh to to yeah half a mil or 50 thou or not 50 um so all the power then yep she'll be back running good but like i say the power of the two stroke was amazing because she yeah. still went the whole season with running on two cylinders with the third one just wobbling about and doing whatever it wanted so, yeah, um we've got that so the 50 goes obviously sits in here yeah she's in there but she's all taken off yeah. like i say she's with the powder coaters Ooh. External, um, uh, external remote uh, tilt, steering, yeah. Uh, steer. that, we've got Actually, all that. We haven't got tilt, have we? Haven't no, that is, that is another uh, upgrade that we need to yeah. do. So They're just all your normal cables and bits. The cables. Then we've got an outboard bracket. Uh, bracket as well, which we haven't actually got an outboard yet, which I think we're going to try and get a little eight, eight horse or something like you that, know. five horse, just to bring us home. That's it, because what we do, we like to live dangerously, you know. Some women like bad boys and we just don't go out of an outboard or an auxiliary, so we rather float and die. Um, but yeah, we, we've, we've had a few near, near um, I wouldn't say near death, or near capsizing, near breaking up, uh, round old Harry's when we didn't yeah. know how fast the tide can go in the winter there um, and how quick it can change. So on a safety yeah. note, if like us, if you are buying a boat, please do like this is a serious note we i've liked to have a laugh but please do local and find out your local area yeah. and get some local knowledge because we went out and it was um put it this way it was one of them where we didn't think we was going to make it back because literally the waves were all of a sudden rolling from about two three meters um to then it went ridiculously where the boat was literally getting thrown up in the air and slammed back down um we learned a lot that day but yeah serious note don't go out if you don't know the area or stay local to, to a beach. But we learnt and we're still here at the moment. Um, the other little problem we've got, oh, not a problem, just a solution we've got to fix. When, when we bought the boat, we knew that the floor was a little bit soft. <laughs> um, but we got the boat for a good price and we knew this. Um, but we decided last weekend to have a little inspection, just cut a little hole just to see yeah. 
yeah. if the stringers were bad, if it was just the top floor or just oh, the actually, glass. I'll, let, I'll put the video in after this of that. Uh, yeah, that, that video will come through. Nathan, um, but Warren yeah, pulled it up and, with uh, that. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a bit of a shock because as we lifted the hole, literally everything just fell apart. Um, so yeah, so the the boat wasn't worthy to be out, but it got us through. Like I say, we've we've been in worse, but but now as you can see, uh, well, there's actually something covering it, but if you look over there, you can see it's all. Like Warren's just going to get to show you. So you can see all of the stringer is completely rotten out. All the plywood is just also just it's all just lifting. Fiberglass is lifting on the corners. You can see it. It's just yeah. They're just yeah. There is no stringer left. It's yeah. It is literally paper mache in there, literally. Um, but again, a couple of weekends we have this done. Yeah. Um, new flooring, totally new colour, new design going to go on the floor as well for the Tuna Purse Channel. Um, but yeah, she's she's looking a little bit sorry for herself, but she has been now stored all all through the winter. Yeah. Um, gonna get in here. We do so the, the floor. Windows need doing as well, don't they? Because one of them. See, probably see the middle one. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but the middle one is coming out, so we actually need to reseat that yeah, uh, yeah. in the rubber because that's all. Well, I think they're all going to come out and they and redo them all, just put them all back in properly. Yeah, that's it. When they was done, there was there, there the windows were cut a little bit too, uh, a little bit too short. Yeah. So the rubbers, it is literally flexing. A bit of wind, strong wind on there, or yeah. waves, and they do want to try and lift out. But we've got new perspex. So all the lighting's bit. in as well. So we've got lighting up there and lighting that runs all the way around the edge, um, which I can put in again. I've got another picture of that, uh, of it all lit up and looking really nice and clean at the moment. It looks like a wreck. But, but like yeah, I say, got... she's surfaced. She's yeah, surfaced yeah. at the minute. I say, um, with, with, that is a project for the next well, a couple of months really to get a ship shape ready for ready for the season. That's um, it. And, Just uh, uh, we'll update as we go. So we're we're going to rip the floor out today. Um, so I'll probably time lapse that. I don't know if I'll put it in this video, um, but we'll we'll get it in at some point. But yeah, this is the uh, this this part here is quite functional. This is when we walk in the boat. <laughs> we take her out. Yeah, boy. <laughs> That's just more for for when we 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 just anchor up when we're we're, we're launching her and she's put in so she sits on a, a dead anchor yeah. there while we're getting everything sorted. So. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, engine. When the engine's back, it's going to look look a million dollars back from the powder coaters. Yep. Um, rebuilt, reboard, um, and obviously, yeah, going to be absolutely great to get out this season. Um, and we really want to target some big species this year. We want to go. We had a little little dabble. We caught caught a few species, some big, nice like rays. You know, lovely sized gurnards, bream, uh, bass. Yeah, a bit Fact, quite a big put bass. Some pictures in of what Nathan called. You call that tape. Um, yeah, we caught a baby tote, which really spurred us to then go, yeah. do you know what, let's start yeah. like chumming and getting that made and we've got little ideas and bits that we're going to launch. We'll show them the chum, show them the chum freezer. Yeah, the, the, well, well <laughs> you don't want to, look like this ain't smell of it. Also, we've got, um, oh, these little, are for ragworm. Yeah, little so, dredges. Little dredges, so again, uh, if anyone's interested uh, of getting your own rag, uh, so basically these just go in, obviously we have a, a shackle at the top, you just chuck it over. Uh, go in a circle motion like a nice wide circle this drags obviously through through the silt or mud or stone what generally a little bit rocky areas so it's quite nice that's where the rag like to go they get caught up in this section and literally you just pull this up turn it around bang it off and find there's loads of water in there <laughs> yep <laughs> and this is going to kill me for oh it don't smell too pleasant either people um but yeah when she don't tell you when she don't tell you, she's a squirt and leaves it as a surprise. <laughs> Bosh. <laughs> and also, we've been attempting to make some some uh, lobster pots as well. Yeah, right? it's it's this is a very simple idea. Oh, weighs yeah, a ton. I think Ryan just dropped his wallet. <laughs> um, but yeah, very very little simple. We haven't used it, but um, we're going to try it out though. Yeah, just an old tub cut. Yeah. Don't know if you can see inside. It has got a bit of weight, but just poured concrete uh, just yeah. at the bottom to hold bottom. Um, and obviously with that chuck it in with some bait and see what we get out yeah it's it's all just trial and error trying to make you know instead of spending loads of money we're just going to try and see if we can use re use use bits like sustainable because this is would have just been chucked it's even even branded up look even so. branded so that if we ever got <laughs> got caught we know who's it's, who's it is it is 
Yeah. Yes, exactly that. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll quickly show you the old chum in the there. The chum. Uh, You're lucky this ain't smell of oh, this hums. But. Well, we got we, we got a local supplier um, that obviously when they've gutted all their fish, we can have all the, the guts and all the carcasses that they don't need. Um, but I had no power in the garage and the missus wasn't happy with me filling out the yeah, freezer. Just, put in, just, put just in the literally there. starting yeah. working for it. Um, if any regulation or building people want to see that is not how to do it. It is safe, but it's probably going to be at all wrong heights. Uh, but I'm sure anyway, so to me that is quite tall. But yeah, so we just literally bought a chest freezer. Um, and the, <laughs> the, the chum or all the waste actually got left outside uh, in a barrel. Three about three weeks. Yeah. Um, it now, he just... Walk yeah, like that towards me. and if you've ever been to a nightclub in a bad area of town, <laughs> about 11, 30, 12 at night, when everyone's been sweating, yeah, um, this is what it smells it's like. just a quick open because it does stink, but we've just got all our chum just going now, <laughs> the rag and some, I've got to shut that, that's bad, yes, but anyway, <coughs> that's, that is bad, so, rule one, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. so we'll, we'll be getting our back on the water this year. I've had a few nights like that before. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've smelt worse. Yeah, she, uh, she's looking a bit sorry for herself, but like I say, a couple of weeks, well, probably months now. Oh, well, yeah, now we've got the engine going away this week. Well, it's with the, with the builder, so that should be back this week, a week turnaround. So rebuilt, probably. And redone. Next week, we'll, we'll put a video up of that. Probably yeah, all the casings will be back. that we're doing. We're going to rip that flooring out today, yeah. aren't we? So yeah, that'll be out. Be out. I don't know if it'll be in this video. It'll probably be in the next one. Yep. Of all of our updates on the... A good tidy the up, good earth. wash, clean. Get her back to being back nice and uh, shiny as she yeah. should be in to sail the seas again. So, yeah. yeah.